Hey my loves, my name is Cherie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be curling my hair so if you're interested in seeing how I achieved these curls, keep on watching. I guess the first thing I should do is take down these buns. <laughs> Last night I washed my hair and I also blew it out so I just put it up in two buns. Ugh. That feels so good. So my wand curler actually comes with four different barrels. So there's two factors that come into play when you're picking out your barrel or the size barrel that you would like to use. So if you have long hair, you may want to use a big barrel. And if you have short hair, you may want to use a smaller barrel just so your hair would be able to wrap around it. But then you also want to think about what type of curl you want. So let's say you have long hair and you want a tight curl. So then you would choose a barrel that will give you a tighter curl for your long hair so I think this would be a decent barrel size for me today because I do want like a nice soft curl but I don't want it to be like Shirley Temple curls and this barrel is about I would say a half inch so the first thing I'm going to do is already part it in the front center so I'm going to continue to part the hair down the back so once I have my hair split in half then I kind of split that section in half so in that case we'll have fourths now that I have my hair sectioned off I am going to work on the back section off camera and then I'll come back and we'll do the front together all right so I completed the back I don't know if you can see the curls, but they are there. So now I'm going to work on the front. Okay, so I zoomed you in a little bit so you can see what I am doing. So what I like to do is just part a piece of the hair off. I'm not using a heat protectant because I've already used a heat protectant when I blew my hair out and I don't want anything to weigh my hair down too much so I'm actually not using a heat protectant on this portion of my hair. And the curling one, I actually have it on 410 degrees Fahrenheit and what I like to do, I start at the top and I just curl away from my face all the way to the end of my hair and I let it sit on the barrel for about 30 seconds or so just so it can get a nice curl and once I feel like it's ready I will just release the hair and there is the curl and before the curl cools off, I like to just set it with a hairspray. I'm going to do another row. I would say this is about an inch thick, right? And then, of course, I have to separate it in order to curl each piece. So overall, it's about an inch of hair that I'm curling each time. The back took me... I want to say the back took about... 15 minutes or so I had to get the hang of it because I actually don't curl my hair I don't put heat to my hair very often I wear my hair curly so I just had to get the hang of you know wrapping the hair around the barrel but once I got the hang of it I think I I moved a little bit faster I am curling away from my face only because I don't want to look like a ram have you ever seen people who curl like towards their face, like bringing the curl the other way, going towards their face? And it kind of look ramish, you know? And I don't want to look like a ram. I want to look like a bombshell, you know? And we release that curl, set it into place. If you're wondering, I'm using a sample hairspray. It's by Redken and it is the Triple Dry 15. Honestly, the hold is extremely light. Very, very light hold. My hair feels like, you know, regular hair. It doesn't feel like it has hairspray on it. Ooh, that one came out cute. Okay. 
I don't plan on wearing a middle part. My mom told me I need to stop wearing a middle part and I need to do different things with my hair. So I'm going to take her advice only for today. <laughs> And I'm going to give myself a side part. So I just want to do that now before I finish the curls. So it's going to be a deep side part. That looks decent. So I want the curls to be on this side and then a little bit of curls on the other side. And yeah, let's do this. <laughs> to go well, maybe we'll make this two curls so we can just be done with this <laughs> Seeing that it looks kind of choppy like a lot of splits I'm just going to take the comb rake through it I guess yeah just rake through it as I'm raking I'm kind of lifting to give the hair some volume. I also have this styling wax by Cara Care and what it is is it kind of gets rid of the flyaways so you just put it onto your hair and it'll flatten out any flyaways that you may have. Ooh. I like this. I think I have it how I want it. So I'm going to take the hairspray and set it into place. And then I'm going to take some nourishing sheen spray so I can have some shine. Ooh. I still have my eyeballs, so that's good. All right, so these are the curls. I have some nice, voluptuous Valentine's Day curls. That's what we're gonna call these. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how you plan on wearing your hair for Valentine's Day. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And share this video with a friend or family member. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.